What's up, YouTube? It's your guy, Kent Hollywood Matzinger, and we got a lot of legends tonight. All kinds of Marvel legends. We got a couple deliveries. Spider Bro, what's up? We got a couple Amazon deliveries. We uh, just scooped this up. Domino from uh, Sale fish comics in uh concord north carolina so uh we got plenty of figures to open up alive let's do it peace alika what's up jedi howard 22 what is going on chris all right, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah. Harold Green, 1313. What is up? And let's do... Let's see. We want... A little light, right? A little more light. Let's do this. Boom. Got to find the right app. There we go. We got lights. All right. Let's take Domino down. She is getting just sprayed. Ah, thank you so much. I uh, appreciate uh, coming and hanging out in the chat. Uh, definitely a lot of fun putting together the display and uh, definitely having fun collecting all these figures. That's for sure. Mama said pop you out. It's Wednesday night. How about some Ken Pool live? Uh, not brought to you by Sonic, but uh, it is hot out in uh, Cherry Limeade. Thank you so much. A little Cherry Limeade. And some figures. Can't go wrong with that. Dennis, what is up? So we got Wolverine. This was uh, Amana, Amana, Amazon exclusive. We got this delivered today. Um, I was pretty happy with Amazon until I saw this guy was in a envelope. Come on, Amazon. But uh, for you in-box collectors, looks like it came in pretty well. So uh, not, uh, not too bad. Just a little hot out today. You got you to gotta get the guys some cherry limeades. That, uh, that, that helps. So Domino, we just scooped her up from... Sailfish comics and man, these uh these boxes, these Deadpool boxes are just so cool. Like I don't know, uh, like somebody was sitting in like a Hasbro board meeting and they're like, we need great box design and art. And uh, I am so impressed. Like the box design has been just like golden. Like, look at this. Like, that is freaking awesome. Look at that. Like, whoever uh, decided to uh, to put in this extra work, it uh, it is not going unnoticed. These boxes are just amazing. I feel bad because, like, I just have a pile of boxes because I haven't been able to convince myself to throw them away yet but eventually they'll be thrown out oh this three pack i know listen i'm definitely not trying to rub it in i have no idea what happened with the three packs i don't know if maybe like i tried ordering this as fast as i could so maybe this is just a first batch i'm not sure why there were delays some people uh got their deliveries pushed out so apologize in advance um i know that is a bummer 
especially uh, when you see people getting these. So hang in there. You, uh, you will not be disappointed. This pack looks amazing. Primetime reviews. What's going on? Yeah, it's been a good day so far. Hope everybody's having a great day. Last four out of five items I got from Amazon arrived damaged. Come on, Amazon. You got to do better. Nobody wants damaged stuff. Math P, what's up? What is up? Yeah, uh, just these box designs. I don't know. Again, I'm not sure where uh, where they got the motivation. Uh, Joe's, the GI Joe boxes. Whew, so nice. Uh, they're doing a great job with those. Uh, some of the art and designs getting a little different. Like, uh, you know, again, with the movie boxes, you got more of the, like, silhouette and everything. Where uh, with these comic characters, it's like the straight up like illustrations or even back to like the masterpiece cards and stuff. So very cool. Thank you, Hasbro. Just uh, just one more thing. Just uh, to make those inbox collectors feel that much better about their uh, collection. I've been playing the new Avengers game on PS4. So good. Nice. Yeah, um, I'll definitely uh, I'll take a look at it. Uh, I'm convinced. I don't know anybody at Hasbro. I haven't seen any early announcements, but I'm convinced that uh, Modok will be uh, will be a build a figure for uh, for a Marvel Legends Game Reverse Wave. We'll uh, we'll see. I'm thinking it's gonna happen. Christina Payne, what is going on? Christina Payne is here. Thanks for joining us, Christina. Yeah, uh, just the design that they've put into the game reverse. Modoc, uh, like getting the Funko Pop and stuff. Uh, I got a good feeling that he's going to be a build a figure. Probably, probably wave two of the game reverse. Um, let's see. We haven't got Thor yet. Um, we haven't got a Gamer vs. Black Widow. We still got that uh, Outback Hulk coming. I'm uh, I'm excited for that. I got that thing pre-ordered. That uh, that should be a fun. I'm interested to see though. I feel like the Outback Hulk is going to be more like. Uh, the MCU Hulks, so he might not uh, might not be that big boy SDCC Hulk we've been getting. What do you think of the Mesco Gambit figure? Uh, I've never been too excited about Mezco, but that is a nice figure. Uh, great accessories. If uh, if you don't mind uh, spending a little money, that is not a bad look. Chicken fried steak. Hello from Central Cal, everybody. What is going on? Uh, it's the same mold as the yeah. That was what I was thinking. MCU Hulk. So he uh, he won't be that that big boy. Hulk that we've been uh, getting accustomed to, but he should still uh, still be a pretty good figure. I, I like the MCU Hulks. All right. So I'm just going to open up the big boy because that's what we're all here for, right? Everybody wants to see Nimrod. I want to see Nimrod. Um, I have Psylocke, I have Phantom Max, even though um, just opening, just seeing Phantom Max in the plastic, uh, I'm impressed. He does look updated, so you're, uh, you're not going to miss out with this new Phantom Max. And uh, Psylocke looks good um, if you missed out on Psylocke before. This is a real easy way to scoop her up. And you get 
Nimrod. Good old Nimrod. Yeah. Just nabbed a Blitzwing. Oh, nice. Them Transformers. Transformers are good stuff. Uh, I wish... I feel like Transformers definitely uh, take up some space. So more power to... Uh, Anybody with those uh, Transformers, wow. This is great. Like, uh, you try to picture what Nimrod would look like as a figure, and they've just done a great job of uh, capturing just the bulk, kind of the awkward, like, shaping of Nimrod. And uh, right now, this is... Uh, the House of X, Powers of X, kind of modern look of Nimrod with uh, look like kind of the head sculpt and everything. But yeah, this is cool. I, I like the, the way it came out. You got uh, like these little insect or like butterfly. So he can kind of snap on. So if you want uh, kind of that piece, that effect on there, little Nimrod butterfly. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah, the uh, they actually have this shirt uh, on Amazon. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Don't ask me how they uh, decided what figures to showcase on the shirt, but uh, it's a pretty awesome shirt. I almost wish like you could go on to Hasbro Pulse and pick which uh which characters you wanted on the shirt that would be like lights out can't imagine how expensive it would be but that'd be awesome hulk it out did you find domino in store you know it there she is we're gonna open her oh in store no uh this was at a comic book shop uh hasbro pulse is not shipping her until november so uh, I just went to my comic shop. They uh, posted that they had her. And uh, for like five more bucks, I was like, I'll take her now instead of uh, November, please. Five more bucks, that works. But yeah, this guy is very nice. Let's see what we got here. So we got a couple blast effects. So kind of like a charged energy blast. You get a second charged energy blast. And those are just going to peg in like our... Iron Man effects, and we'll have to play around, but that's, uh, that's not a bad look. Looks like he's about to slam dunk this energy effect, flying slam dunk, so maybe blasting somebody on the ground will be the easiest with this effect, kind of, but yeah, not bad. A bad little piece. And we got two. Close fist. We want uh, Nimrod to get down and dirty with the X-Men. Little punch. Nimrod punch. Yeah, Nimrod's just, uh, he's always been an interesting des design. And, uh, you know, at first when you think of Sentinels, it's kind of like there's just a ton of them. There's nothing really different about the Sentinel. And uh, for Nimrod to kind of be like artificial intelligence and kind of... Especially uh, House of X, Powers of X, kind of, kind of a big player on the board for a minute there. 
So it's kind of cool to see like a unique Sentinel. And here's the old school, like if you want to do Days of Future Past and everything, like when he came to the main Marvel Universe 616, you can switch up that head sculpt. And let's see, so we're going to pop off the wings. And let's see. Okay. All right, so you got this peg here, and it just kind of slides off of the peg, and we'll just hop this old school guy on there, and nice, look at that, I mean, just like that, that is so cool. Amazon just delivered Domino yesterday. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I have no idea how and who and what is uh, getting delivered. It's crazy. Like uh, like I said, if you go on to Hasbro Pulse, like Domino is still a pre-order figure. So it's it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, let's see. No, uh, doesn't really look like any knee bend. So not a ton of articulation you're going to get with this guy. So he is pretty, uh, pretty solid. You can get, uh, little bit of bend and stuff in the arms. The shoulder pads are kind of softer plastic, so you can kind of maneuver that how you want, but uh, you're not going to get this guy doing any really crazy, crazy articulation. That's, uh, that's probably about the only downfall of his design, but uh, he was never, like, crazy maneuverable so he's uh i think he's matching basically what what you would see and get in the comics marvel legends less than marvel legends with accessories that's a that's a good way to look at it that is a good way to look at it oh yeah no problem Definitely want people to know when stuff is coming out, to the best of my knowledge. I mean, I am no expert. I don't have any insider information, but uh, I try to share what I see and uh, what's going on. Yeah, uh, Nimrod would be great for, um, you know, if you're digging the 90s style X-Men, uh, like the animated series, he'll fit in. Uh, just pop on the old head sculpt, and uh, he's looking a lot like the character from uh, from the cartoon. Retro Kingpin still on pre-order. Yeah, I'm hoping. Um, I've seen some different shops. I, I hinted really hard while I was at the shop today to uh, let me know uh, when Kingpin shows up. So I am excited for that Kingpin. And I know Hasbro Pulse probably still showing him for uh, November. So if uh, Kingpin lands in the next couple weeks, that would be awesome. All right. So here is our Psylocke in uh, the dark black costume. Not a bad look. Uh, I feel like the head sculpt is a little different. And mine has a little bit of paint where there probably shouldn't be paint. But here is our last release compared to this release. 
Um, this Psylocke will definitely uh, be joining the X4 shelf, and I think that's uh, kind of what the costume's designed for. What do you want? Just because I hit record, you want something? Like, the dogs never... They, uh, they always get crazy as soon as I go live. That's all it takes. Uh, supposed to get M Tuesday. Emailed more and delayed until... Yeah, Old Man Legends. I have no idea what happened there. Uh, that is crazy. Darth Primus. Uh, so your Kingpin shipped out. Very cool. What's up, Matt? I think a lot of figures got their... Release is pushed up. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll have 20, 21 figures, like, in the beginning of December, end of November. It's, uh, like, just stock and items. It's crazy. Who's your favorite Marvel legend? My favorite Marvel legend is Future Foundation Spider-Man. I uh, definitely enjoy that figure so much even though i'd be happy if uh they gave us one with some more articulation that'd be great all right i gotta let the dog out real quick she's uh she's getting all excited go 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 what do you want We are back. We are back. We are getting Psylocke back. So yeah, there's uh, the purple version of Psylocke. There is the Amazon exclusive. Uh, definitely digging the X logo on this one. Uh, head sculpts, uh, very similar. Very, very similar as far as the head sculpts. And we're gonna see some very similar. So she's got like two open hands. Looks like we're gonna get a closed fist. We got her energy sword, which if, uh, if you don't want the uh, kind of flame effect on it that will pop off and you can have just the sword and that just slides on and off so pretty cool what's your least favorite marvel legend least favorite marvel legend uh looks like a lot of y'all don't like uh weapon x there are so many uh, Weapon X on the shelf. I, I feel so sorry for them. I almost want to... Y'all are going to be mad when we don't get uh, Weapon Weapon Omega because uh, nobody bought uh, Weapon X. Or maybe a lot of people bought Weapon X and they just shipped it two per case. There is her effect this can go right over her fist so that is a pretty cool energy effect yep army build weapon x uh, my least favorite marvel legend um i don't know i've seen a lot of wasp in uh in the wild but uh, i actually like that figure I thought it was fine. Uh, I don't know that they should have shipped like her and Ant-Man two per case, but uh, I definitely like those figures. There's our little mask, so she can. Uh, I believe that helps prevent anybody from invading her mind or 
you know, you can kind of use it to have her projecting her powers. Can't find Punisher figure yet. You're talking about uh, the Punisher ride? Yeah, this one, um, the Amazon exclusive is definitely going with, uh, with my X-Force figures. Uh, I'm hoping, because I haven't snagged one up on eBay yet, but uh, I'm hoping we get the X-Force uh, Warpath. That would be great. Night of Ren, Mando Season 2, October 30th. Yeah, we're getting closer. What's up, Ryan Avery? Troy Redman, what's up? Any good Galactus figures out there that is the scale of Legends? Um, Dennis, the... Man... The Toy Biz Build-A-Figure is uh, pretty awesome, but uh, the Galactus that I have with my Marvel Legends is actually the Marvel Universe Galactus, and he is a big boy, even though he's not going to be as big when, uh, when these Sentinels come in. So, like, the plastic broke here. Just trying to get... There we go. Didn't want to lose that. Don't let these drop on the floor. That and Pumpkin Bombs are the worst. Don't want to lose Pumpkin Bombs. Worst Marvel Legend to stand. Uh, those high-heeled, uh, like Scarlet Witch back in the day. Um... Yeah, like Marvel, Hasbro still has some things to learn about uh, the female figures. And for a while there, they were doing those high heels. And the high heels were impossible. Uh, those are definitely the figures that I have stands for. Even, uh, even the newer uh, Emma Frost. Uh, having the high heel, I had to put her on a uh, on a figure stand, on a base. Uh, what do you keep all your X Force together or separate and canny? Uh, so I got them all together. Uh, probably hard to see, but they're on my Deadpool shelf. So I kind of have Cable and the older. X-Force, and then I got Wolverine and, like, the newer X-Force kind of meshed in with what characters we've gotten from X-Force so far, so the darker X-23 suit and stuff. Custom X-Force Warpath. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, X-Force Warpath will most likely be a fan channel figure. Yeah, that'd be cool. I, I could go for that. Definitely go for that. Juggernaut Wave Phoenix. Yeah. I actually, uh, I took one of the head sculpts from the Toys R Us pack and put that on my, uh, Juggernaut Wave, uh, Phoenix. Made, uh, made that figure. So much better. So much. What is the best and worst Marvel Legends wave you think were put out there? Um, I am a huge fan of the Juggernaut wave. Uh, there was a lot of great figures. It was one of the first waves that I completed when I started collecting. Um, worst wave. Worst wave is tough because I would say it just depends on what you like. I've seen plenty of people that, uh, if they don't collect MCU figures, they could, uh, they could kind of write that off as a worst wave. But, uh, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, most of the waves. 
there's uh there's always some character that I'm really excited about and maybe one two characters max that I might not be as excited about but I'm happy with the build a figure so I'm kind of you know I kind of get past it but I like the crazy unique figures so white rabbit and stuff uh, I think that's awesome she uh, she makes the shelf look a little different so there's probably characters that people don't care for that I'm on board for like if we get that frogman uh, that'll look great in uh, in my spider verse so I'm down for frogman uh, what's your grail Marvel Legends figure um I uh, I'm a huge fan of my uh, Fing Fang Foom. I, I looked at it for a while, picked it up, and it's uh, it's definitely one of those pieces that uh, I'm always happy to show off. Need an X-Force Warpath. Ain't that the truth? Get them knives out. When did you start collecting Legends? 2017. Yep, I started in 2017, and... It's crazy how much it's changed just from 2017 until now. It is uh, completely crazy. Uh, worst wave, Venom wave. Oh, are you kidding me? I love Spider-Ham. <laughs> Spider-Ham with that uh, big old Venom piece made it uh, totally worth it. <laughs> and that monster Venom, that's, uh, that's an exciting Build-A-Figure. I was looking for something to watch while I was organizing my collection. El Patron, we did it. You are welcome. Hopefully everything's going well with the collection, my friend. Clink93, what's up? Worst wave so far, Sugar Man. See, Sugar Man's a great Build-A-Figure. Um, I like the figures. It took me a while to get on board with uh, the Age of Apocalypse, but... Uh, the more and more I read, uh, I've enjoyed them, and, you know, they got an okay spot in that Apocalypse Deluxe build figure. Oh, man. Purple Monster Venom. Yeah, that's my, uh, that's my, um, Thunderbolts Venom. Now, the, the real Monster Venom, he's up there with his, uh, black and everything, but that's, uh, that's my Thunderbolts Venom, so that works out perfect. <laughs> uh, basically, no, because characters I want come out in them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we find find different figures, that's for sure. Are these out in stores already? Are we talking about... So, the Nimrod is part of a three-pack uh, from Amazon. You might still be able to order them, but... Uh, there's been delays and stuff as far as getting them out. Um, I don't know if maybe there was like a first batch and they sent out first batch and now they have multiple batches. But uh, yeah, there's definitely definitely some uh, three packs that got shipped out. Wolverine, uh, I think I've seen a lot of people picking, getting him off of Amazon. So this is one of the Wolverines we're getting. There's like two other, maybe three other Wolverines that are going to be coming out, uh, kind of featuring the old Hugh Jackman Fox movie look. Uh, like I think there's two more single releases, and then there's the Wolverine, the old man Logan, with uh, Professor X, which should be part of the Hascon. Are we calling it Hascon again? Is it Marvel? What is it? It's not Marvel. It's Hasbro PulseCon. Is that what we're calling it this time? Hasbro PulseCon. All right. Whoops. So I'm going to try to keep this over the box so I don't lose these effects pieces because these effects pieces are nice. But uh, you get the little shot fired effects. 
Uh, this guy is looking pretty good. Uh, the paint, they did a real good job with the paint. Just uh, first look of him. Definitely looking maybe a little more, like he's not huge, but he just looks more put together than the other, than our first release of uh, Phantom Max. And uh, I'll try to do some pictures because he is, yeah, he's pretty good in the case. I don't want to knock over everybody trying to get to him, but I'll do some pictures of the two on uh, Instagram. So definitely uh, check out Kent Pool Live on Instagram, and uh, we'll get them side by side so you can kind of see the difference. But yeah, if uh, if you never got that Phantom Max figure, definitely an awesome add. If uh, if you didn't read the X Force run where uh, Phantom Max was part of Wolverine's X-Force. He is definitely an interesting character with a very, very crazy uh, backstory and everything. So definitely, and I think he's French. So if you need, uh, if you need a French mutant in your collection, and uh, remind me in the comments, I think his powers... Um, what is it? He like, uh, he almost manipulates your mind to see one thing when something else is actually happening. So like you see the smoke, like he's finished shooting, but really he's shooting you. It's like, uh, he can, uh, kind of trick you, kind of manipulate what you're seeing. So it's a, it's a pretty cool power, and uh, they do some good stuff in the run using it. Uh, who we got? Uh, hey there, how large is your collection? Uh, we got quite a few figures, so hopefully I'll do an updated... I've been meaning to do an updated... Um, collection video so hopefully we can do that soon steven what's up yeah thank you for the emails uh you guys can always email kent pool live at gmail and uh thank you steven for uh checking in seeing what's up do you buy spare parts from stores or online i don't necessarily buy them uh, it just depends on what pieces I need. Sometimes uh, I might buy like a select figure to get like a diorama piece and stuff. But uh, that's usually, usually if I can find something on sale and I like the accessories, I might buy it. JD Hardy 69, what's up? Our Burns, what's going on? Juggernaut, Bath. Yeah, that was a fun wave. Definitely a fun wave. What Marvel Legends gets started would you recommend? Uh, Ryan, the thing I've always told people, if you're starting off on Marvel Legends, I would start with a character that... Uh, you know, probably in your top five. So for me, it would either be Wolverine, Captain America, Deadpool, Spider-Man, or Hulk. And then kind of build from there. So uh, if you pick up Deadpool, there's all kinds of characters you can kind of do with Deadpool. Spider-Man, all kinds of characters. So kind of take that character that, uh, that you like the most and uh, kind of build your collection from there because it'll be easy to kind of put that character in the centerpiece and then kind of build off them as you uh, as you do your display. Uh, I needed that Phantom Max really bad. Yeah, Phantom Max is great character. The, uh, the paint and everything looks great coming out of this three pack. 
Uh, the end of that second part of the Uncanny X Force run is mind blowing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. X Force is crazy, especially with uh, with Wolverine. I uh, should pull down that Spider Hulk too to show it off a bit. Uh, Spider Hulk is uh, definitely an awesome figure in my collection. I would not be disappointed if they redesigned that and kind of put it on that um, on that uh, Spider Man or that Hulk SDCC kind of body. That would be awesome. Custom cloth leather jacket, bendy wire. Yeah, that would be uh, that'd make for some good photos. That's for sure. When are we getting some Kent Pool merch? Um, check the. Well, I guess it's not the description, but uh, I think there's shirts and stuff. I mean, that shows how much I pay attention. On um, uh, Teesprings. I think there's some shirts on Teesprings. If anybody, uh, if anybody wants a Kent Pool Live shirt, but uh, yeah, that's definitely something. To, uh, Greg Cook actually had the couple shirts that I wear made, so. Maybe I'll talk to him and we'll get a run of uh, Kent Pool live shirts. Yeah, our burns. Appreciate you in the chat, man. What figs did you pick up? Uh, I ended up getting uh, Domino at uh, Sail Fish in Concord tonight. Awesome comic book shop. And uh, they've been my hookup for some of these early figures. So. Sailfish, thank you so much. Uh, definitely love running up there and uh, getting some fresh figs. But uh, let me know, what do you all think of this three-pack? Uh, did Amazon do a good job? Uh, Nimrod, so cool. Uh, definitely going to have to put him together with some X-Men, and uh, that should be a lot of fun, some great pictures. Maybe uh, maybe once I figure out how I'm going to display him, maybe I'll do a uh, display video featuring Nimrod and the X-Men. WWE Fan Club, what's up? New Marvel Legends, yeah. Yeah, I like WWE. I, uh, I watch a little bit of wrestling. It's, uh, it's some good stuff. Yeah, I mean, definitely try to uh, support local shops. Uh, I like, uh, you know, hunting and finding stuff. It's all good at uh, Walmart and Target quite a bit. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's cool to get into some shops and uh, see what they got. And, again, what a, what a hookup getting this figure before November because that's what uh, – my Hasbro Pulse order was to get her in November. Christina Payne, you are awesome. Thank you so much. If y'all uh, don't know, Christina Payne, she is working the mod. So uh, make sure y'all are on your best behavior. She'll, uh, she'll be getting after you if you're not good. Yeah, the Nimrod set, uh, I think Nimrod is probably going to be pretty high on my uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, the only thing, I mean, again, articulation, but it's Nimrod. Like, I don't expect him to be doing flips and all kinds of crazy stuff. So with the extra head sculpt, the blast effects and stuff, uh, I think you're getting a pretty good figure. And uh, the design is just great. But there she is. Look at that. Look at those head sculpts. All that hair. Got the, the Uzis. I can remember a time when uh, Marvel Legends, like, all of the weapons were just, like, goofy and stuff. So definitely sweet. And I like... Uh, Looks like she's got holster for the pistol. 
So that will be helpful. And I'm going to apologize for the plastic. Like, the plastic is all around her feet. So there is, like, no good way to get her out of this shell without hopefully making too much noise. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is great. Yep. So, uh, as far as the body, I imagine that probably the head sculpt and the hair are going to be the major differences. I imagine we're probably looking at uh, maybe some other female reused body parts, but... You know that's uh that's Hasbro. That's uh not a big deal breaker. So the body in the hands not looking very different, but uh, the head sculpt more than makes up for it. Uh, this is a good looking Domino, and uh, yes, being lucky is a power. I use it all the time. I use my good luck power. That's uh, that's how I find Cobra Troopers. Being being lucky is uh, is cinematic. And here is second head sculpt to get uh, just a little more of a smile. Maybe uh, if you want her and the crew like talking cable jokes. You get a little more of that uh, grin in that figure. Like the first head sculpts, like when she's getting ready to jump out of the big old uh, mutant tractor trailer. When they, when they find out uh, the juggernaut's there. Uh, my local comic shop have Legends for $50. Wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, like, unless they're really old legends, I, uh, I try, not to, uh, try not to spend that much. 50, uh, 50 is tough. I mean, I, I enjoy the Marvel Legends, but uh, that, uh, that would be tough. I mean, you all saw in the video how pumped I was for... Uh, Finding five dollar Marvel Legends. That's uh, that's how I roll. So you get uh, this little pistol, very MCU pistol, which will go right there. So that's cool. Got the little sidearm there. Uh, found a new comic shop by me on Saturday. They actually had classified figures. Very cool. Yeah, that's a great look. I know uh, Greg in his video. That's uh, that's where he found like his GI Joe classified was uh, was at a comic shop. So yeah, the Uzis. Uh, you got like the little knives on there, but uh, not bad. I mean, probably not the most detailed six inch weapons but uh you get the idea she's uh dual wheeling the uzis and uh very cinematic definitely movie figure uh, i'm trying to remember how do we so i can't say mcu this is uh do we call this a fox movie figure let's see is there any official I don't know that there's an official name for it, right? Or is it uh, is it all MCU now? We we know it's all Disney, right? What do you think of Payback? Uh, Payback was all right. Uh, I thought it ended a little early, but uh, I definitely enjoyed the matches. Uh, Keith Lee, who if you've never watched Keith Lee wrestle, that guy is. Uh, so much fun to watch. 
So much fun. Definitely, uh, definitely like some, some Keith Lee. And payback. Uh, I like what they did with uh, with the tag team champions. With uh, um, Bailey and Sasha Banks. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool how that played out. Uh, fighting Nia Jax and uh, Shayna Baszler. So that was pretty cool. Uh, what else uh, was good? With uh, with payback, yeah, it, it definitely felt like it ended early. I was surprised. Uh, the U.S. title seemed like that match was going kind of early. I wasn't surprised that uh, I figured uh, Lashley would win that title. Uh, I like Randy Orton. Uh, I'd like to see Randy Orton uh, kind of beat, kind of get up there on the streak wise. But uh, Drew McIntyre, he has uh, he's really put himself together, and he uh, he looks like a champion, and he's uh, he's been talking good games. So uh, the old Mel Gibson movie, Payback. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Roman Reigns coming back, and uh, I, I like how that played out. That was uh, that was some pretty good storytelling. Uh, you got to watch uh, Bray and, and uh, Bray and uh, Strowman just, like, destroy each other. And then uh, it was it was a good match. I uh, like I said I, I like the storytelling and then Roman Reigns coming in, signing the contract, winning the title. It was pretty dope. Bill, what's going on? Do you have to get the Deadpool two back in the new series, or do they sell him? Um, I imagine eventually we will get a Deadpool figure by itself, but uh, the two-pack looks like starting off is how you're going to get your Deadpool. So Deadpool and Mega Teenage Warhead, um, Sonic Warhead. I think, I don't know how they'll do it, but I would think at some point... Uh, like a Ryan Reynolds head sculpt, whether it's like disfigured or stuff. And I imagine like maybe it'll be a Deadpool deluxe figure. And maybe they can come up with some silly things. Like maybe a silly flight stand for him or something. But uh, yeah, that'd be funny. All right, here he is. Save the old man. Well, I guess he's not old. With this figure. Talk about some time traveling. We got Wolverine. And a little Days of Future Past for you. So out of the package, we got the jeans. Got the boots. Dog tags, and we got some bone claws, and uh, I think the head sculpt looks pretty good. Very, very Hugh Jackman. I, th I think they did pretty good job with that head sculpt. So yeah, we got the bone claws, got some butterfly joints, so you should be able to get this guy in some pretty good positions. Oh man, I'm just thinking how uh, now I got to start like my Fox movie display shelf. 
but not bad for uh, a little Amazon delivery, I would say. Now, if you're not like 100% on these Fox figures, I think there'll be enough of them. Uh, this is Amazon exclusive, so maybe eventually you'll see it drop on Amazon. But uh, I would say any of these movie packs, you could probably play long game on them and uh, scoop them up and probably get them at uh, either the regular Marvel Legends price or, you know, maybe even clearance prices because I feel like a lot of places are going to be getting the figures. But there's your movie claws look uh look pretty good um i feel like in the movies because it's cinematic maybe a little longer maybe a little thicker than comics but uh they look pretty good so if you want to switch out you can um If you do take out the claws, you're going to have kind of open space. So don't know that you'll want to actually take out the claws. Uh, I guess you could take them out if you wanted it to look like he's kind of punched into something with his claws. Maybe uh, play around with some pictures like that. But uh, you'll definitely have like an opening where uh where the plastic goes in if you take them out there's our unhappy yeah I'm a... little unhappy wolverine for you and again i think uh, i think they did a good job with these uh Hugh Jackman head sculpts, they uh, they definitely look very, uh, very Fox movie. Picked up Cable. Yeah, Cable's awesome. Uh, I was, uh, felt a little weird getting Cable first, but as soon as I opened that figure up, I was uh, very impressed with, uh, with how they did Cable. Uh, did you pick up the Marvel Funko Pops? Are you talking about uh, the X-Men from uh, from the movies? Uh, they look good, but I've really slowed down and gotten really selective on the Pops. So I probably won't pick up the Pops, but uh, if we see them, I'll definitely show them uh, in the videos when we're on toy hunts. Yeah, Hugh Jackman is nice. Yeah, they did a good job. I think both head sculpts look uh, very Hugh Jackman for sure. What's up, Rob? Any pickups at Second and Charles? Yeah, the other day I got uh, Doc Sampson and um, Mary Jane from uh, the original Spider-Man. So uh, that was pretty cool, and they were both five bucks. I haven't had a awesome second and Charles pickup like that in quite a while, so I was very excited to find both of those. Very excited. <laughs> yeah, true story, El Patron. Um, we'll see. I actually, uh, I think I got something exciting excited uh planned for this weekend but uh it's gonna be a secret so you all are gonna have to stay tuned maybe uh maybe check out the instagram and whatnot but uh i'm hopefully i've been uh talking to a few people and we uh we might be doing something uh a little special this weekend so definitely uh, stay tuned. Definitely excited 
for uh, for what's going on, and hopefully it works out. We'll uh, we'll see, but uh, could be a very exciting weekend. Uh, some kind of first for the channel, so we'll uh, we'll see if uh, if it works out. You know, uh, just a lot of different things going on right now, so takes just a little more planning and uh, finding out what everybody's up to and that kind of stuff. So uh, definitely stay tuned, though. I think it's going to be exciting, and I think uh, y'all will enjoy it, and it'll make for uh, probably some good videos this weekend. That's right, videos, multiple videos. But I uh, hope you guys and gals enjoyed all of these Marvel Legends. Definitely uh, get over to Kent Pool Live on Instagram. I'll, uh, I'll try to put up a bunch of figures. A uh, bunch of figures. I'll put up a bunch of figures. A bunch of pictures of, uh, of these figures. So definitely get over there and check that out. But uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. We've been on for about an hour. Uh, I'm going to go see if there's some AEW wrestling on and uh, kind of chill. And like I said, maybe uh, take some pictures of all these great figures. Um, if you haven't got your Amazon three-pack, uh, hang in there. Great three-pack. It is going to be worth the wait. Keep an eye out for... These domino figures, go check out your local comic book shop if, uh, if they carry toys. And uh, definitely get that Amazon Wolverine. He is a great figure if you want to put together your own Fox Marvel shelf. But uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Everybody enjoy the week. Like I said, stay tuned. Hopefully some great videos coming this weekend. A lot of fun. I think you're going to enjoy it. But until next time, always be hunting. Have fun collecting. <laughs>